All right, so we're in Miyashita Park. <laughs> and we're trying to make a decision of what to eat for dinner. And here we go. Hungry! Hungry! I'm with you for a group with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the fields. Hey, they for the ears. I know that's how they like. Yeah. All right, next is the famous or infamous Banda Express. <laughs> so, Kaiku, what, what do you, Kaiku, what do you think? Are you excited to eat Panda Express? Yeah. Why are you excited to eat Panda Express? It's healthy. It's Why is it healthy? <laughs> Kids. Yeah, maybe it is healthy. Maybe you're right, Josh. We're gonna find out, buddy. Okay. So we just got some food from Panda Express. And so what we got here was a base of noodles, which they basically require, which I'm probably not gonna eat any of. And then the rest of it, which actually looks pretty good, is a, a bunch of beef with a bunch of vegetables. So we have beef here, show you my chopstick skills. Check out. So we've got our beef here, broccoli here, onions here. Bell pepper, little green pepper, uh, sorry, green peppers? <laughs> yes, little green peppers. Um, so basically, probably those four vegetables. Broccoli, onions, bell pepper, and then green, kind of string, string beans. And then there's some mushrooms, and there's a little bit of cabbage. So if you consider going to Panda Express and getting what they're eating, which is Kung Pao chicken? <laughs> Kung Pao chicken and the noodles, wrong, what is it? Orange chicken, orange chicken and noodles. In terms of the vegetable count, the vegetables here are right here, and that is not even close to enough vegetables to qualify as vegetables. And then Luna, basically the same situation, where they're essentially having rice and meat. All things considered, not the end of the world, but you definitely want to increase your, your amount of vegetables. So, as we've been sitting here, we've been looking over at the screen that's over there. I don't know if you can zoom in on it, but it turns out you can do a base of vegetables, which we did not realize. And that completely changes the game. So I've always thought of Panda Express as a place I wouldn't really eat because it's probably just really processed and not very good. But we're going to go up there and give it a second shot and see if we can love actually one-off this dish that we just got now. Love is love. Adi You said it's delicious and healthy. It's good. So we just got round two because we just discovered that you can do a bed of vegetables. So this changes the game. So we went from, as you can see from round one, we went from noodles, which I told you we weren't going to eat, which we didn't, with a bunch of veggies and some meat, to round two, which is basically just steamed vegetables. This is cabbage. Like cucumbers. Is this zucchini? Cucumbers. Zucchini? Zucchini. Again, there's string beans, carrots. So this is like probably frozen stuff that they've then, this is like the, the classic grated frozen carrot. But still, it's a, not, it's a pretty good vegetable mix. Plus, broccoli, fantastic. A bunch of, a bunch of meat, more vegetables, chicken. We've got some nuts built in. So this is, this is actually a really solid meal. Again, if you're trying to eat for that kind of that lean eating, as I'd call it, like this is a this is a fantastic meal. If you were, you know, you wanted more calories for whatever the reason was, yes, you could add a bed of rice to this, or you know, you could eat the noodles. But if you're an average person trying to maintain relatively good health and you're not in some bulk phase, you're not a competitive athlete, you don't need a ton of extra calories. 
this is a really, really solid meal. If this were something like one of three meals in the day, or maybe even two, I'd say, for your average person, this is a really solid meal. I'm actually pretty impressed. I didn't know Panda Express does this, so this is, this is pretty good. Oh. Hey, buddy. Okay, well, let's talk about why we're not getting some of these things. So, why are we not getting McDonald's? <laughs> okay, so what's the reason we're not getting McDonald's? Um, they're just too processed. Mm. Like, everything is processed. Microwaving everything, mm. warming it up, mm. it in a wrapper, and like, setting it off. Mm. Honestly, in terms of nutrition, I don't think there's a single thing that's actually packed with nutrition. Maguro mm. maketo. Mm. Salmon, full of good, good fat, avocado, and fish in general is very. This actually looks pretty good. It, yeah, it looks pretty good. So you got reasonable prices. What I would look at is how much stuff they're putting on top of the rice. Seasoning. Yeah, like the actual salmon and avocados. Mm. Sometimes the pictures look beautiful, but then it's like 80% rice uh. and it's just sprinkled on top. I completely agree. So that's something But it to looks pretty good. Yeah. So I think with a place like this, consideration, so McDonald's is just right off, way too processed, no, no go. A place like this actually looks pretty good. There's a base of rice and it really depends on what you're trying to do. So if you're okay with a base of rice, then this might be an okay restaurant for you. Mm -hmm. In the case of us, we both don't eat rice. It's not because there's anything wrong with it. We just, we've just chosen not to. Mm -hmm. um, I get a lot of my starchy carbs from sweet potatoes. As I've talked about in my first video, Macros 101. That's the kind of thing I'm in love with is sweet potatoes for that kind of base carb and Reese is the same way. So I just get extremely bloated and same, sleepy same, after same, I same. eat rice. Mm -hmm. And like this afternoon, I didn't even eat rice. I was like... Five minutes after we ate lunch yeah. or brunch, you can feel it. I could just feel yeah. the nutrition just running through my body and blood sugar rising. So, especially when I eat rice, it just mm. peaks up. Hey guys, thanks for checking my first healthy fast food options video. I'm really excited to do more of these, especially in Tokyo. So, please comment below and let me know where you guys want me to check out next. I'm happy to do anywhere you can think of as long as it's within Tokyo. Please also remember to subscribe, hit that notifications button, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know that you guys liked it. I want to see more of these kinds of videos. Later guys, see you next week.